guys thank you for tuning in this is this kitchen today I'm just gonna show you how to make um, fresh meatballs what you need is just um, a pack of mints I bought this from Iceland for two pounds it's quite um, British mints a uh, big mints 450 grams is um, quite cheap I mean you can afford you can feed three on it so today I'm just gonna show you how to make the meatballs from scratch what you need is the mints garlic yellow pepper you can use green pepper if you want um, or any other type of pepper I prefer this even the chilies if you want the chilies this is where they got in and I got red pepper there and I got chopped potato uh, tomatoes I bought them from Iceland as well so yeah I like uh, buying things from there because they deliver <laughs> okay and here we got um, the ready-made meatballs and on the far left corner we got paprika and we got Madrid's curry powder and we got here piri piri nuts wrap I, I wrapped the chicken on it and then I put it on the, on the meatballs the other time and they tasted good so I'm gonna use it as well so you can actually use any spice you like anything you want you like it all you throw it in from bay leaves um, whatever it is you just throw it in that's what cooking is all about okay and um, so here's all the ingredients what we need so we got what we need and we got a pan there with oil in it but the meatballs we're gonna boil them a little bit first because uh, to just make them hot so we can fry them we don't want to cook them we just you know, like pre-boil uh, for just um, a minute or two uh, you could put them in the microwave but I don't like using the microwave and stuff so I'm just gonna boil them a little bit and we'll come back to that so let's go make the meatballs okay here we are so we just can, like, take all the meatballs out take the meat out and so we got the meat so we just use like um a one handful if you can hold it like that then that's okay that's how big i want them but if you can't if you want them bigger than that you can just go ahead and make them big like bigger size smaller size medium size it's all up to you okay so you you kind of like knead it knead it and then you roll it you can put flour on it but i don't like flour it just like uh it changes the the taste of the meal so i like beef taste so i'd rather stick to it but my mom used to use um, flour so that it moves properly but i've seen that it moves properly even when you just pre-boil them so so here are the meatballs you can see they're nice and smooth there you just knead the mint first mix it sprinkle a little salt or a little pepper and then just like knead them and then um, cut, uh, cut them or separate them just into handful each, handful each, and then you roll until it's nice and smooth. You press as you roll, press and roll, and you got your intact meatball. They won't break. Okay, now we're gonna just uh, pre boil them and fry. Okay, so, um, it's pre boiling, I've pre boiled them, but. I, I'm not gonna use, uh, throw away the water because we're gonna use it for grave to make the grave. So we just kind of like, yeah, just put all the water in there. It's all gone because we're gonna use it for grave. Whether you want a grave powder, beef powder, or oxo cubes, this is where you put them. So you just make sure that all the water is dry before you add the oil. It's all drying up. Yeah, so no excess water. And then you just, I use, um, I'm using pure oil, pure oil, vegetable oil, but you can use any oil you like. Just um, a little salt. That's it. Then we're going to fry the meat and brown them. We need to brown them. Because uh, that's where the rich gravy is going to come from. So we just fry them and make sure they turn brown. You've got to fry them until they turn brown. 
are issues with their legs, their emotions, their flesh, their organs, so they can eat them. They can drown evenly. And they are used like a very high heat and a the blue flame. So make sure they are drowned before you start adding anything else into them. So before then, so there you can see the beginning of browning. Well, it's about how much you like them brown and how much you like them like turn. But yeah, so one day I just say, this is where you can add the, the curry. The curry goes in. I love curry too. And the paprika goes in. And the the pili pili mango is just in as well. So it goes the home of the pili. So while we're peeling and looking always, okay, you add the onions. You add the onions and the onions goes in. The garlic goes in. Just let it um, simmer on low heat so for about three minutes. So it's been boiling for three minutes. And now what you got to do, you can see how rich it is. This is these are very like very weak metals. Then would you remember the water we drained, the beefy water we drained when we did the pre boiling? I've just added one of the cube so we pour it all in and it thickens, it will thicken a bit. If you like it um, a bit thicker, you can use gravy powder if you put gravy powder. It thickens if you put more oxy cubes, it thickens. So it just depends on how thick you want it. So I prefer mine just medium. So, yeah. so there are the meatballs. They are very rich meatballs there. So you can serve with rice, you can serve with potatoes, um, you can serve with noodles. It's all up to you. So thank you for watching again. Um, I'll show you the end product when. I'm gonna serve it with rice and vegetables. So here is the meatballs. It's all set and I'm gonna have a nice lunch. So if you wanna give them a try, let me know how it goes and um, the dry ingredients you've put in, the spices. Yeah, whatever you put in, let me know in the comment section. So if you give it a try, it works out, you like it, put thumbs up and uh, please share the videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.